My name is Alex Shibar. My name is Allison Ross. My name is Derek Concepcion. My name is Paula Falavinha. My orientation experience was unique, and I think that's what kept me here in Cincinnati. Macy's has brought on a company called Black Book, and you know, they were an experienced management company, concierge service, and they really took the time to explain to us what is Cincinnati, you know, where can you find the best food, and, and really trying to assimilate the things that we like most at Jersey and really correlate them here to, uh, to Cincinnati. And if, if it wasn't for that experience, I, I probably wouldn't be here in Cincinnati right now. I kind of, I had a little bit of a different way of being recruited since I came on my own. Um, I feel like it was not so much given to me, but I had to find my way. Um, I feel like that would have been different if I had been officially with the company right away. Since then, we have a bigger support to tell people what to do or connect with um, new people. And I'm one of the ones that love making sure that people are feeling welcome and know what to do in the city. But I didn't quite have a, this is a checklist or this is things that are interesting. I kind of had to weave my way through it was really left open to me. I really came in and tried to explore as much as I could by myself, and it was um, not the easiest process in the beginning, which is why I love what I do for a living right now, where, in theory, I make it easier for others. I really want them to explore the city and the community and anything along those lines and really have a, a good time here in Cincinnati. Trying to make friends, it obviously takes a while, especially when you're not in a school environment, when you're at work all day. And I, got, I did, you know, I am friendly with people I work with, but Sometimes you need a little, um, you need to meet people outside of work too. I think the things I struggled with the most was getting around the city and, and figuring out transportation, especially since I was a, a foreign coming in the country and, you know, not having a license to drive around. So that would be something just figuring out your way or even moving to a place that I could commute a little easier. I, I think taking the time when someone is onboarding here in Cincinnati to show them, you know, what there is to do in Cincinnati, because most people will come with that perception there's nothing to do. You take an extra five, ten minutes of your day and say, hey, these are some of the cool things that I've done in Cincinnati. You know, you can do this, you can do that, and really show them that there's something to do because their circle of friends is not going to be big when they first come here. So, hey, you know, why don't you come along with me? I'm going to my friend's house for dinner, or come to a Reds game with me, or come to the ballet with me, and you'll see what Cincinnati's all about. Just asking that person to come along, I think, will really help someone transition here. That was what was done for me when I came here, and if it wasn't for that person that said, hey, come along with me, we, we wouldn't be here today. And I've talked to so many people that you, once you start digging, then you find this amazing stuff. And it's almost like, uh, is there a guide to finding how to navigate the city? Is there a website or is there some kind of little card that you can give to people and go here and connect with people this way? I, I feel like those would be the ways that would be more effective if I was re-coming back into the city.